Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to a new Florida travel day. We are off to Florida today. Very exciting times. We're up nice and early. It's currently quarter to seven. We've just ordered our Uber, so we're going to be jumping in an Uber to Manchester. Yeah, oh, I'm so excited. Bit of a different travel day today as well. We've never flown with Aer Lingus, so we're flying with Aer Lingus today. So we'll show you all of that, tell you how much we paid as well. But uh, first off, we've just got to get this little bit done of getting to Manchester Airport, getting to the airport and then we can film everything, film the process, give you some tips and pointers along the way as well. As you yeah. can see, it's a little bit uh, fresh this Very morning. It's cold, yeah. Nice and fresh. But yeah, let's get ourselves to the airport and let's start our Florida Travel Day, September 2023. So welcome everyone to Manchester Terminal 2, just been dropped off, it's a gorgeous morning, we had a lovely sunrise in the taxi on the way, Uber was fantastic. Really good, you just woke up, clicked a couple of buttons and then there it was, right in front of the house within a couple of minutes. Yeah it was, it was pretty good. So fingers crossed we're starting off okay with our travel day, I have unfortunately lost my filming stick so I need to try and buy one in the airport. But uh, other than that, it's gone smoothly so far, it looks like it's on time. So we're flying with Aer Lingus this morning. We're flying at 11 a.m., which is a great flight time because that gets us in uh, into Orlando about half past three in the afternoon. Gives us time to uh, try and dart to one of the parks. You know what we like to do with these travel days. So fingers crossed we're gonna be going straight into a park or Horror Nights or something when we get there. If you're new to the channel, I am Andrew. This is my partner, Laura. We do actually live in Tenerife, but we do go to Florida quite often. We've already got a few different series already on the channel. This is our latest one here, September 23. It's meant to be very warm over there, it's quite busy, so exciting. Let's get ourselves in, let's get ourselves through. I'll show you all of the airport, of course. Terminal 2 has been done up a little bit. Um, so I think there's even more progress since we were here last time. Yeah, let's head on in. It's a bit nippy out here. And uh, let's get ourselves through security, then we can relax a little bit, explain a little bit more about this flight and the cost. Ah, well, here we go, into the airport. I'm excited now, now we're here. And then uh, we like to take our travel days in bits. So job one is to just get through security with all of our camera gear and everything, which takes a little bit of time. So that's, uh, well, we've done job one, which has already got here. Job two, get through security. And then job three, find a coffee. Oh my God, yeah. Coffee. Gotta find a coffee. We'll find something. Terminal 2 only has a uh, Costa and we're not huge Costa fans. Let me know if you're Starbucks or Costa in the comments. Well, it's nice and calm in here today. Really nice. I'm hoping this is going to be a lovely smooth travel day. Let's fingers crossed, Laura. We were delayed a bit on our last one, weren't we? Yeah. So let's hope we get there in time this time. So we jump straight to a park or something. Straight to a park. And a lot of people do get shocked at how, how, uh, how much we do in a travel day, but it's our tradition now. Get ourselves straight to a park or something. Do love the, the modernisation here. It does look very, very smart, Manchester. I hope once it's all finished, it does all come together quite nicely. But I do like this. It's quite a nice welcome into the departures area, into your security. Everything feels a bit nicer, doesn't it? I've never seen a bit cleaner, a bit smarter. Yeah, it's nice and modern. And this is where everyone gets their pictures of, like, I'm going on holiday, oh, isn't it, it is, with the Manchester yeah. airport sign? We'll have to get a selfie, Laura, for the gram. Well, there's a Starbucks over there, but can't take that through security, can we? That'll be a big no-no. Just to show you as well, we are travelling with Aer Lingus. This is where you would drop your bags off. However, we've not got any baggage to drop. We're going nice and light with our hand luggage. Which is good. Stops you overspending. But it's, uh, it's also the ease, isn't it? The speed of it. We're not waiting around for baggage carousels. And... I know, especially to the end of Florida, because 
they've got the extra carousel and I mean, made up a stick of use and that one takes hours. Yeah, the one that goes across from the it just makes it so much easier. Just hand luggage, bish bash bosh. Straight in, straight No out. packing big suitcases and lugging them around and all that. Yeah. So and it does stop us overspending. So we're quite happy with hand luggage. We've done it a few times before. Do not be afraid to travel to Florida with just 10 kilo cases. If, it's doable. You, you just got to get organized. So we, we're going somewhere with a wash machine. So we yep. pack really, really, really light. We can wash all our stuff. We normally know, we know we're going to buy a couple of t-shirts and stuff over there in the outlet. So yeah. I haven't brought too many t-shirts, stuff like that. It's doable and you can save a good chunk of money on the flights doing it, which is what we've done this trip. Uh, we've gone with Aer Lingus because they are cheaper than Virgin for this trip as well. Yeah. Considerably cheaper, even with Air Miles, they were cheaper. So we thought we'd give them a go. Yeah, I've heard good that. reviews, I've heard mixed things. So we'll, we'll see what our experience is. I'm excited to see what my meal is because I'm Virgin. I get lumped for vegans. So we'll see, yeah, we'll see if your food, your allergy food is a bit different. Yeah, because this one on the way back. We've said this before on the verge, you could knock somebody out with that. Yeah. So, hopefully, I'll get some nice snacks on this and see what. Maybe I'll get an actual piece of meat on the way out rather than we'll a. We'll see. You know, you think, believe you do have to buy your drinks and stuff on here, but again, we're not bothered. We're not huge drinkers. We don't buy that much. We don't drink that much anyway, do we really? No, we're not. Yeah big drinkers so we normally buy our own bottles in W8 Smith anyway yeah so I'm not worried I'll buy my ginger ale like I like and yeah. then we'll have a cope or whatever but that's about it really but the good thing with this flight was with it being A cheaper uh, B the other big thing was the flight time I really like these early morning flights 11 o'clock it gets you there you know early, you know mid afternoon in Florida so you've got time got to a bonus day yeah you've got, well, you you've got time you to go, going back out straight after you fly in got a bonus day or you've got your organisation day you're doing all your shopping all your unpacking yeah. all your stuff getting ready for the holiday so it's just a bonus yeah I don't like landing in in the, in the evening time in Orlando yeah. but uh, right let's head through uh, security we've got plenty of time so plenty of time for us to film and explain everything but yeah if you're dropping your bags off nice and quiet there with Aer Lingus here at Manchester Okay, so security all done. Mixed feelings about that. It was very quick, very quiet, yes, which was nice. Was really uh, but very, very strict with the liquid. So you've got to make sure that the, you only have one bag each. It's got to close. It's got to close. He was on and on about them closing for ages. He was like, if it bursts open a little bit, you're going to be delayed an hour. It was a little bit OTT. We did have to bin one or two things because they didn't quite fit in the Ziploc bag, so we've binned a couple of face wash and stuff, but just to warn you, make sure you only have one clear bag and make sure it seals all the way. If it keeps bursting open, they keep telling you to reseal it. So quite strict with that, which is hopefully all gonna change when they get those new scanners and we can all come through with liquids anyway, but yeah, very OTT. If it was bursting open a little bit, he said it was gonna delay you an hour and things. It was a bit- He said they get a lot of, <coughs> a lot of rejections. Yeah. So make sure if you, coming through with just hand luggage or you're carrying liquids in your hand luggage one clear bag each and make sure it seals uh, and obviously the bottles are going to be under 100 ml is it 100 ml under, under so uh, but we're all done all through other than that no rejections make sure all your hat all your electricals are out as well anything bigger than a phone make sure it's out and separate even if you're umming and ahhing, just take it out because if you do get rejected, it is waiting around and you do get and delayed. And if you do come so. in a busy time, you really are in trouble. Yeah, you're, you're waiting a long time and it's not a pleasant wait, so you'd rather be through here and, you know, having a wander. Uh, so, yeah, take your time with security. Don't feel under pressure. Don't feel rushed. Just take your time and do everything right and you won't be delayed the other side. You won't get a rejection. So, uh, let's wander through now. Try and find a coffee. Last time we came, we did, uh, no, we did the airport lounge. Last time we came, yeah, we did the airport lounge, but we're not doing the airport lounge today. So we'll find a coffee somewhere else. So there is Costa as a last resource if we have to have a Costa. Just not into the coffee in there. Just doesn't do it for me. Don't mind the cakes and stuff like that, but the coffee, especially the caramel latte, just doesn't quite do it for me. They've got the maple hazel going on at the moment as well. I've seen advertised around a lot. And then we've got WH Smiths, things like that. I think we'll go to the WH Smiths further round. We'll have a good wander through Duty Free. Now, how many of you do enjoy a little wander through Duty Free and maybe picking a new fragrance or something like that for your holiday? Let me know in the comments. Do you do a lot of Duty Free shopping? Do you pick yourself up some alcohol? Do you pick yourself up your, you know, nice new fragrance for the holiday? 
Seems a lot of people do. We don't really shop in the duty free much. Especially alcohol wise, we're not big drinkers, but a lot of people do like to pick up a little aftershave or things like that for their trip, little traditions. Now they've got some nice gins in here. This one your dad was drinking last night, Laura. Yeah, yes, this one. Yeah, it looks uh, 22 quid, that one. Some nice gins and stuff if you're into your gins. And don't forget in Orlando, the alcohol isn't super cheap, is it? So it might be worth picking up your favorite bottle in the duty free yes. uh, for Orlando or America flights because the alcohol over there isn't super cheap, is it really? Yeah, they've got high tax on the alcohol. Yeah. So, yeah, so if you see a gin or something that you really like and you love it, I'd probably just pick it up and take it with you if you can, if you've got the space and everything. Bit of my favorite Ariana Grande on the old uh, speakers, you know, getting me in the mood for a little travel day, you know? Got Laura iron up some. They, they were, they're the ones you got last time. You've already got them. You didn't even bring them on this trip. You've already got them. Yeah? No, you've already got them. Yeah, I'll try them. I think you'll look really cool in them. Super cool. Oh, they are so, yeah, they're so you. <laughs> well, so far, the airport is lovely and quiet. Very, very calm atmosphere in here today. Got JD Sports there, already got some bits from there yesterday, so we don't need anything from there. Just trying to find a nice little coffee, but yeah, all the seating area, it's all lovely. We've got Wagamama's up there, Laura, is now open. Amber Ale House, I have shown this many times on some of the travel days, but I will show it again because some people uh, will be new to the channel and haven't seen everything in here in Manchester Terminal 2. But yeah, it has changed a lot, this terminal. A lot of different... Uh, eateries now especially upstairs you've got san carlo different places for breakfasts it is very we've said this previously it's very upmarket but it's um there's not much fast food is there you've got to sit down it's like more sit down and just something quick like a subway or something i mean they're all sit down wait for your food to come and things like which stresses right. me out i can't right. relax in the airport like no, that i can't um, on andos yeah i was stressing and out getting through time, yeah yeah, yeah it was no it was just a bit yeah, yeah. i can't relax and have a full-on sit-down meal in the airport yeah. myself but uh, plainly there must be a market for it because they put them all in so they must be doing okay let's see if we can find a little coffee and then we'll take a wander yeah, yeah you've got plenty going on boots a couple of wh smiths you've got your in motion here is so I'll need to have a look, quick look in here actually to see if they've got a, a camera stick if not I'm going to get one when we're over in Orlando but uh, trust me I've left it somewhere my uh, Manfrotto stick so we'll see if they've got one in here hopefully so I'm just looking here some of these are pretty elaborate I mean you've got to be a serious uh, wow bit of a serious setup that one isn't it I just want something standard really that's all right I suppose that Joby. Let's see what we've got going on. I think they're all here. Wow, that's a very elaborate uh, setup there. If you think I'm walking through the airport like that, I ain't. Um, something more simple. Oh, that down there, a bit more simple. Camera, 78 quid. So that comes with a, I don't need the, does that come with a microphone and all that? I don't need that, I just need the stick. So it looks like we're gonna be going for this, the Podzilla, it's 40, 40 quid, but there's not much else I can do really. Uh, I do prefer the Manfrotto's, I can get a Manfrotto for about 25 euros, but being me, I've lost it somehow. Hopefully it turns up. So yeah, I think we'll just go for this. It comes with the little phone holder thing like that. And uh, that'll sort us out, because at the moment I'm filming freehand, believe it or not. But yeah, some of these setups are so elaborate. You can spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds on vlogging equipment. If you want to film your own vlogs or film your own Florida memories or anything like that, honestly, just grab your phone and just film in landscape. The phone films in 4K, you can't get much better than 4K. Then, you know, if you really enjoy it, you want to get elaborate and go with stuff like this. But honestly, don't spend all your money on all this equipment. If you want to vlog or start vlogging or you're new to it, either buy a, you know, a decent vlogging phone you can get one second hand or you can get one you know some of the older models but as long as it films 4k that's the max yeah. you're gonna get anyway so i always just say Jeez, film on your phone like really big, really oh yeah heavy. you're getting very elaborate there then that's too complex for me i like to just sort of keep it simple but maybe is it this that i'm buying then that thing i don't know oh, looks really looks well, funky doesn't it well there we go then we're on our new stick yeah, it's quite nice, it is. it's quite lightweight, it's uh, a lot longer than I normally go for and you can flip it round into portrait mode etc. 
I don't know how I keep losing them, but I do. Um, I know. I think my head's elsewhere. I'm all over the show. I think I was that excited to get here. I ended up losing the stick yesterday because we are mega excited for this trip. We can't wait. Very excited. Nice views outside. The guys cleaning the... See, look, I even organised the guy to clean the windows for you so we could have lovely views outside. <laughs> I, I organised that. Yeah. I texted him last night. It's probably why I forgot my stick. Probably, yeah. I was WhatsApping him. I said, make sure you're in. I want them nice and clean so the viewers have got a nice view out the window. So we can either get a coffee here in this one or we can go to that one we've been to before on another travel day, that coffee, brunch and bakes. I think we quite like the coffee in there. Did we? All right, we'll go there then. Right, stride on then. Now I was just chatting to the man and uh, he said this is a little bit of a lull period at the moment where it's so quiet. Yeah. Uh, and then it does pick up later on in the day. And I'm loving this, this is heaven. Preta manga, as I like to call it. <laughs> What's it called? Preta manga. Why is it manga then? I would just build Monge, Manga. Presser Manga's better. A plus, who's on more hunger and Presser Manga? Exactly. Presser Manga sounds better to me. Get us a Presser Manga there, lads. <laughs> I think we just have to scout <laughs> Presser Manga. Right, so we're actually going to Pot Kettle Black. There you go, we've been here before. It was quite nice. I had a bacon toasty in here last, uh, butty in here last time. Yeah, it was nice. Might get another one. Nice airport views as we wait for our, our uh, coffees and my bacon butty. Uh, we did get, just purchasing the coffees in here, a £5 off voucher for duty free as well, so something to bear in mind. You might have to spend £75. Quid, okay, excessive. but then if you were going to buy a couple a of perfumes, perfumes, yeah, yeah. it would uh, be worth it. So it might be worth getting your coffee first, then going through and having your wander through duty free. Yeah. Uh, just to show you two large caramel lattes and the bacon butties with £15.70. It's not overly expensive. No, I think it's, it was decent in here last time. I do like the view as well. Yeah. Quite enjoy it. And the, you know, the table settings are nice. The decor's nice as well. Yeah, nice cool music. Plane, yeah. So no, it's nice. Going to enjoy the views. Well, I can't see our plane anywhere yet. But we'll, uh, that could be down the other end and we're not going to quite see it from this end. But we've got Qatar, Cathay Pacific. So a little question for you all is as well on our travel day here. What is your favourite airline that you've ever flown with? Favourite airline? It doesn't have to be to Florida, but favourite airline you've ever love, been with? I've said this before, Monarch. You used to love I Monarch. To, I don't know, just sort of weird about Monarch. Their little reboot flying. didn't last very long, did it? It you know, uh, didn't have enough funds. Yeah, I used to Monarch. love Monarch okay. to the point where I wanted to go work for them, where I think I tried to. Yeah. But I was, I was that much too small. Nice. Very strict back then. I'm going back like near on 15 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, let us know a favourite airline you've ever, ever flown with. It doesn't have to be to Florida. But yeah, let us know. I think a lot of you will maybe say Virgin. I do like Virgin. The old planes are better than the new planes. Yeah, the, ju the old jumbos, oh, the first amazing. class and the upper deck and the old jumbos were the best. They were really special and weren't yeah. you? Were really, when, you, when you're in the upper deck, first class or business class, you were special, you yeah. were different, you were special, you were separate, the money that you paid was worth it. Yeah. Now, not so much. Not so much, now the, the premium seats aren't, aren't as uh, big and as premium. nice as they used to be. Uh, yeah. Well, our coffees have arrived, they look really good actually, made with a bit of love, you've got a nice heart in there, yeah. Laura. Oh, well, yeah. Give it a try, it see if it tastes look. nice. Yeah. They do look good actually, and I like the served in a nice mug and stuff. Well, well, I think I'd be fair, I'll let you let you the caramel latte. Do you? Have you gone off caramel lattes yeah, now? I love caramel lattes, but I'm just. You just love your lecci lecci. Because we've been having them basically every day in the yeah. uh, neighbours, haven't they? So if you don't know what lecci lecci is, that's where we live in Tenerife in the Canaries. Lecci lecci is like a milky coffee but with condensed milk. It yeah. comes to condensed milk in the bottom, and then you mix it all up, and it makes like a sweet, creamy coffee, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it's really indulgent and sweet yeah. and nice. So, if you're into indulgent, sweet, nice coffee, it's amazing. Yeah, have a look I online, you can find them. find out how to make them. You just need a bit yeah. of condensed milk. Yeah. They're, they're massive in Tenerife and the Canary Islands, aren't they? Massive, yeah. yeah. Oh, here's my bacon roll, thank, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Oh, that looks absolutely lovely. There you go. Looks and then 
coffee as well. Job done, I'm happy. Yeah. Give it a try, Laura. Come on, let's see if you like it. Give it a whirl. See how we get on here. It's all right, but tomorrow we'll be by Celebration Lake having a proper Starbucks caramel latte by the lake, our favorite place, favorite coffee. Wait to watch the sunrise with a crispy bar and a caramel latte. Proper good ones on that rock. With the sound chair. of the crows and all Listen, that. Watch yeah. It for alligators and turtles. By my lake. Your lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm excited to get back. It's funny after talking about planes and flights and monarch and stuff because this has literally just come up on my TikTok. Will will the monarch A330 make it to Orlando? How weird is that? <laughs> Complete, I, I swear it. I think your phones listen to you, don't they? They must do. Oh, they do, yeah. It's crazy. Well, all done in pop kettle black. That was a nice little uh, coffee, bit of a chill. Watched a few planes go. Music's dead chilled in there, it's nice. So we need to now head to WH Smith's or Boots to buy some drinks. I'd like to keep some bottles of drink on the plane. Big key thing, staying hydrated on these flights. If you don't want to feel rough the other end, make sure you drink plenty. Especially when they, you know, feed you up on the plane with all the carbs and stuff like that, yeah. Stay hydrated. I uh, do recommend bringing hydration tablets as well if you can to put in your bottles of water and stuff. So that's uh, on the agenda. And then we'll just have a little general mooch, I think, see what else is going on. Where did you want to look, Laura? You want to look somewhere, boots as well. Let's have a quick look in here. Just to kill a bit of time, have a little wander. Yeah, we bought all sweets and everything as well from Home Bargains, so that saves a lot. But drinks, unfortunately, unavoidable at the moment. But that is due to change, hopefully. Uh, as soon as possible, we're going to be getting those new scanners here at Manchester, which means we can uh, bring in our own drinks and our own liquids and stuff. And it just makes it easier as well. Like how well, much so much easier, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so much things, easier. So Putting your bag through. Phone, yeah. yeah. Just looking some of these headphones and stuff. How much are the. Uh, so I've got these, the AirPod Pros, 249 quid. I got them as a gift, but really recommend them as well. Noise cancellation headphones. If you're gonna get new headphones, try and pay a little bit extra for noise cancellation if you're for the flight. It makes a big difference. So you can see the difference there, the noise cancelling. Normally a little bit more expensive, but it makes a big difference. Even if you're just gonna get the, even the cheaper ones, if you can, I think mine I bought, my JBLs were 20 euros more for noise cancellation, but yeah, it makes a big difference, difference between those two, yeah. yeah. I, would. I mean, these are quite, quite fancy, these Bose ones, but yeah, if you if you can, if you can stretch a bit more, you will, on flights, it makes a big and difference. Especially for your e hearing, because music too loud and ears damages your ears and gives you the tinnitus, isn't it? Yeah, you don't want to have your volume so up too high, so that helps. Plus, I mean, you can put them on, you don't even have to be listening to music, it just blanks you out. So I put them on, I don't have to listen to you. I can just, you know, put them on and, and if you do speak, it's at normal level. If you're telling me off, you just say, rrr, 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 you can't really hear what's going on. I never tell you off. <laughs> so yeah, if you've, um, if you've got a missus, make sure you get the noise cancellation ones. So many missus, so many women are going to be hating you. <laughs> you know I'm bantering. It's all banter, but yeah, noise cancellation. If you for flying, if you're gonna get new ones, I'd try and go for that. That's what yeah, I got with uh, my JBL ones yeah. I've just bought in Tenerife. Right, so WH Smith is behind you. Let's uh, carry on through to there. Neck pillows, always a nice little extra luxury as well. You can get them on Amazon. I've not brought one this trip. Um, yeah, you've got to blow up one, but they're a nice luxury. You can definitely get them cheaper than that. They're on Amazon and stuff. Probably better ones as well for that price. Oh, celebrations coming a big celebration bottle now. Uh, get one of them. Now that's my kind of champagne. Crack open one of them on the plane. That'd do me nicely. Crack open one of them. <laughs> you have one of those Toblerone bars. <laughs> um, let's see, three for two, mix and match. You can get all kinds of, I just find it very expensive in here. Now I do love them though. I was talking about these the other day. 
the chocolate orange segnage seg seg sensations. That's a mouthful. Mm, little Toblerone bites, truffles. I know, you better get anything in these boxes and bags anymore. But yeah, I just think with sweets, if you can, buy them all in the supermarket. You can bring them through in your hand luggage, no problem. And it's much, much cheaper than in here. Much cheaper. So I'm just looking around all the drinks. One thing as well with flying, to probably maybe not have too much of, I, I make the mistake of it a lot of the time, is caffeine. So I mean, one of these would be great, maybe as you're coming into land, having a bit of a caffeine boost, but if you drink these all flight, you will have a big caffeine come down. It does mess you up a little bit. So I've had my coffee now. I'm not gonna really buy anything too caffeinated, though I do love monsters. Uh, the Lewis Hamilton monster, which isn't in here, is really nice. I do like it, I've not tried this one before chaotic that would be me if i drank it <laughs> after a coffee but yeah i'm thinking more of these like hydration drinks here um you've got these ones vitamin boost i quite like some of these for the flights uh just just straight up by being i like as well but yeah try and go for some of these hydrate drinks are good for the flights in my opinion it's what i like to try and drink i'll avoid the monsters as much as i like them i'll pick probably a hydration i think i'll go for and a ribena i think what are you thinking, Laura? Definitely um, hydration. Even just your Robinson's juices as well. Smart water. Just, yeah, make sure you drink plenty. I love these as well, these vitamin recovers. I might get one of them. Oh, it's gonna be a tough decision. I'm gonna have to decide now. So we've gone for this. We're getting three of these for six quid. That's not too bad of a deal, two, two pound a bottle. I'm gonna get a Ribena. Just wanna always make sure you have plenty. It's a nine hour flight. So in nine hours, I mean, you should be drinking a good few liters, really. Yeah, we should have a whole suitcase so, yeah. to drink that. Should. So just to give you an idea on the price of the sweets and where you can save, I bought a bag of minstrels yesterday for £1.25. In here, they are £3.50. So if you're gonna buy a few bags, so you've got kids and stuff, definitely make sure. I mean, I got some of them in Home Bargain yesterday for a pound. So it's definitely worth buying your sweets and stuff before you yeah, come in, definitely. 100%. So Laura's just checking to see if there's any face wash or anything that she fancies while we're through uh, the other side. These are some of the other little, you know, I mentioned hydration tablets and things, vitamins, barocas, all of these things really do help out. Make sure you've had some vitamins for your travel, gives you a little bit of a boost on your immune system and stuff. There you go, a bit of dry shampoo. If you are traveling with hand luggage like us, you can buy all of your gear in here as well once you're through. £3.99 for a big head and shoulders and stuff like that. So it's definitely doable. You can save money that way. But uh, looking forward to drinking one of these actually. I'm already quite thirsty. It's quite warm in here today. What are these? Stem and ginger biscuits. Got some fancy stuff in here. Gets fancier and fancier every time I come in WH Smiths. Some of the stuff they've got now is uh, quite upmarket. What are these? Butter. Butter toffee, mm, sounds nice. What's this? It's ultra nourishing anti irritation cleansing oil. Right. So, for dry, very dry, or irritated, sensitive skin, that'd be good to do that. Okay. Yeah. Will it wash your whole face off? No. <laughs> now, how many of you come and pick up a magazine for the aeroplane? I used to do this as a kid. I used to pick up a car magazine or a golf magazine normally. Don't really do it anymore. Um, I'm sure some of you do come and pick out a magazine to have a little look through on the plane, a little bit of a read, or you pick a new book. Yeah, I used to as a, as a kid, but not so much these days, picking up magazines and stuff. Dad likes to pick up a newspaper, doesn't he? It's got to be done. Good to see Everton featuring on the uh, on that one. Not in a good light, as usual. <laughs> Never is. So we've now come into Boots because we want to pick up some of our favorite sun cream, which is the Sultan. Really good value and it's all five star rated. Uh, the stuff we get in America and in the Walmarts and stuff, we didn't like it last time it's really, did we? It's not as good as European solution. So I would suggest if you do what we're doing, buy it this end and buy it British stuff because it is better than the American stuff. I think so, yeah. And everyone in Tenerife as well, this Boots Sultan, you can't really beat it. It's better rated than Pisbury and etc. And I think it's really, really good value. So we'll probably go for maybe a nice, uh, not a factor 50, I'm looking for factor 50. Really, I mean 30, 30 or 50. 50 plus eight hours. Yeah. 
power protect. That's advanced, so that's um, it's quite good. This one lasts a lot longer than the yellow yeah, stuff on your skin. More water resistance. Anything in a in a thirty or a fifty in a spray? <clears throat> ah, there you go. Oh, this one. Yeah. I think that will do us thirty. UVB high protection. UV ultra eight hour protection. Water resistant. Good if you go into like water parks or sweating or anything. So I think we'll go for that one, Laura, yeah. in a spray yeah, this time. It's a bit nice in a spray, yeah. yeah. There we go, perfect. They have got it in a kid's 50 once as well. And the um, protect and play. So really, really do rate Sultan. If you're looking for the best sun cream, I do, these are new as well, I've not seen yeah. these. You've got different little face ones as well. Oh, you've even got a um, chapstick one yeah, as well. Right, so we'll grab that. Anything else we need? Don't think so. Oh, I'm sure you are. You love looking at how much makeup do you need? I've already, I already could only bring one little hand sanitizer because all the clear bags were full of your gear. <clears throat> Haven't they? I've not got anything in those clear bags. They're both yours. One little hand sanitizer I've got, and a mini toothpaste. So Laura's just picking up a uh, gluten-free sandwich just in case the meal's no good on the plane. We've got a little bit more to eat. Cheese and tomato, yeah. Laura, you're not fancy in it. Bread. I just want some white bread. No, I just want nothing else, I'm afraid. Egg mayo or cheese, tomato, I think. That's it. They've got the sweet potato fritter as well, but yeah, it's always handy just to grab one in case the meal's no good for Laura or they forget. Sometimes we've been on flights where they forget Laura's meal, so it's good to just have a little backup. Well, I'm going to pick up some hairspray. I've got to be glued, apparently. I mean, I think that's going to be extra strong cold. I don't think it is. Going to be able to Level six. That's out. good though for the for the heat and humidity. Yeah. Got to be glued. Blasting freeze hairspray for 72 hour extreme looks. That's me. <laughs> that I look extreme. Yeah. Screaming hold. I like that. I know. Be good. Screaming hold with uh, extreme looks. I think that suits me down to the ground. Definitely. Got to be glued. Let's give it a go. Two pound, two pound ten for extreme looks. It's a bargain. Go, Look like Sonic the Hedgehog now. Yeah. Well, that's all of our shopping done. We're going to keep having a little bit of a wonder though, since we're going to be sitting down for about nine hours. We'll take you upstairs and show you what is upstairs as food options and stuff. You can see now the airport has really started to uh, fill up. Certainly a lot busier now. I enjoyed those first couple of hours where it was empty. It's definitely got a lot busier. Let's have a quick look upstairs just to show you what is available here in Manchester Terminal 2. Food wise, we'll see if anything's changed since we were last here. We've got a couple of airport lounges up here as well. What I have noticed though, if you do want to do a lounge, they fill up and book very quickly, don't they? And they're always full, yeah. You've got to be quick on the lounges if you want the lounge. Yeah, let's have a quick look and show you what is up here. So your few options are, you've got a few, couple of different pubs. You've got San Carlo in the middle and Wagamama's. Now the quietest this morning is Wagamama's, probably because it's more of a lunch or dinner kind of place, but it looks like they've got breakfast on the menu. Didn't know what Wagamama's did breakfast. Let's see what's on the menu here. I think only like locations like this maybe. Yeah, you've got an English breakfast there, which looks interesting. 13 pounds for an English breakfast in here. You've got Morning bows. Oh, I might I quite like bow buns. Do you like a bow? Asian style eggs and bright bowls as well, avocado bowls and stuff. So, Wagamama is probably the quietest out of all of them. It's a big queue to get into San Carlo. The uh, pub over there has got a queue, and uh, the Amber Ale House behind us also full as well. So, definitely get here if you want to do all the sit down breakfast and stuff. There's tables available, but people are waiting a long time to get seated. How much is a breakfast in San Carlo? £13.80 for the breakfast, avocado. See, to me, I just couldn't sit and have a, a fancy breakfast like that when I'm travelling. Uh, yeah, I'd just be constantly looking at my watch and constantly, like, you know, stressing out, feel under pressure with everyone queuing outside to give up my table and my seat. So, the Italian pancake stack, £10 with Nutella on. Ooh, nice. Bit of Nutella. 
Yeah, that was nice and simple for you, yeah. We'll have to remember that for next time then. We'll have to come in and try my biggest fear, which is sitting down and having a big fancy breakfast. You can have your quick bit of toast. I'll put you on a timer and we'll be in and out and off. <laughs> So a lot of you will be asking about the flights, why we're flying with Aer Lingus instead of Virgin, how much we've paid, etc. So uh, the main thing, as I mentioned, was the flight time was really nice, but it was solely, purely on price. So uh, this flight with Aer Lingus was £330 each return, which I think was an absolute bargain. Uh, we've paid more to come back from Tenerife and to go back to Tenerife again than we have to fly all the way direct to Orlando. Uh, wouldn't do the stop, I only fly direct ideally if we can. If you can avoid the stop, it makes a massive difference. But 330 quid return is a bargain. That's obviously with no bags, that's just purely get on board with your hand luggage, that's it. Um, I did, when I was checking in yesterday, take up an offer and book some extra legroom seats. Ooh. So we have got extra leg room as well, which is nice. Uh, that was an additional uh, £99 for the extra leg room. But yeah, it was a very, very good price flight. Uh, the other reason I think it was a little bit cheaper, I did it all through Skyscanner, is we're actually doing an odd number of days. So we're not doing a bang on 14 days or a week. We're doing 15. So I find that knocked down the price, not doing an exact one week or two weeks, brought down the price massively on the flights. Um, but yeah, all through Skyscanner just surged. Virgin were coming out about £120 each more than Aer Lingus. Plus I thought it'd be something a bit different to film. We've done Virgin loads. Let's see how Aer Lingus is. They're coming, coming up quite well in Manchester, that's for sure. A lot of people are using them now. Planes are meant to be quite nice. Uh, hopefully going to have Wi-Fi on board as well, which I'll purchase and we'll see how we get on with that because I have still got work to do. Uh, we've got two businesses in Tenerife now, we've got the car rental going on and I am currently messaging the builder regarding the new bar that we've just bought. So that's all still going on. So hopefully I will get Wi-Fi. But are you excited to try some different airline, Laura? I am excited different? to see what the difference is, how different it, the food is, the options, the chairs, see, to see how the seats are doing. Yeah. how big the extra leg room is because you never know you could get extra extra leg room. so the extra leg room we're only use those emergency exit aisles so i should be able to stretch my legs out fully fully relaxed i'm going to be editing i'll be editing this vlog trying to get it up ready for tomorrow yeah various different things so i i use the time on the plane to do a lot of work uh, which is nice for me to just stretch out and relax a bit i might try and take a nap as well so i arrive nice and refreshed so we can get ourselves maybe straight into the fog or we've just asked on instagram and facebook what people think we should do whether we should go to a Disney park, straight to Halloween Horror Nights, or straight to Universal, what should we do? That's the question. We could go straight oh, to no. a Disney park, we could go straight to HHN, because we've already got our frequent fear passes. I'm excited. If you didn't know already, we are annual pass holders uh, at Disney <laughs> and Universal, so we can pop into those. Yeah, and just have fun with those, can't yeah. we, yeah? We're obviously going to be picking up a car as well, book that through Alamo, so I'll show you all of that process and let you know how much we've paid for the Alamo car rental as well on the other end. Always use them, never have a problem. So we're picking up an Alamo car. We'll probably be going straight to somewhere. I don't know where yet. We're going to have to I decide know, on the plane what we're have doing. To. Yeah, I'm excited. See what time Horror Night starts, Ooh. see what time we land. Is Horror Night on today? It is on tonight, yeah. Ooh. Might get myself straight on those water guns at Islands of Adventure, oh, get some people do. soaked. Oh my God. People have been getting endless. away with it scot free, not getting soaked. Need me over there, soak them. Yeah. <laughs> so, in four minutes, we're going to get our gate information. We'll find out which gate we're at. Yeah. Right, everyone. So, I've shown this handy trick before. Now, if you Google your flight, Light, you can actually find your gate number much quicker than it comes up on the screen so on the screen right now it's not showing anything but I've googled it and it says 206 and I know yes. that's going to be right because I've seen the Aer Lingus plane parked further down by those gates yes. so quite handy thing to do if you're itching to get to your gate you like to get there keen as beams like us if you like to get there nice and early or you know you might take a bit longer maybe you take a bit longer walking Google your flight number because sometimes that gate number appears much quicker than it does on these screens. At the moment, it's still showing blank 
for our flight on the screen there, but we know it's 2.06, so we'll head down that way, and that will be there nice and ready to go, you know? Yeah. It doesn't say we're delayed though, so I don't know why. It said it was going to display the gate at 9.45, it's now 10, there's still no yeah. gate displayed on the screen, which is a strange one. So this is when it really starts to hit home now, when you get to the gate, you see your plane, you're getting on, you know you're on time, you know you're getting there, and once those plane doors shut, that's it, you're off, and the next time you get off the plane, you feel that proper Floridian heat, and no yeah, American accents. On the way down, you see them, it's clouds. Oh yeah, there's our plane there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to be paying for that Wi-Fi, so I'll let you know how that is, if it's any different to the Verge one. I'm actually going to be pretty much the same, but yeah, you know, it's getting real now. I know, excited. So here's our bed to take us to Florida then, and it is St. Patrick that we're on. St. Patrick, get yourself on the air, Elias. St. Day, yeah, that would have been good. Ah, so I'm looking forward to trying something different as well. Different plane, different airline. See what the food's like, etc. They know they've got they know they've got the Wi-Fi because they've got the things on the top. So that's uh, it's gonna be all good. So we're on the A330 300. Oh, I'm excited. Got a nice nice travel day as well, isn't it? Sunshine wise, blue skies here at Manchester makes a nice difference when you're flying in the in the blue sky. It's nice, especially when you're filming and stuff. The blue sky makes a big difference. Nice views out onto the runway. So someone in the fan group did just say that they're also flying from Terminal 2, but their flight is delayed, and that is this one with uh, Virgin. So the Virgin flight was delayed as well. So in hindsight, I mean, I feel sorry for them being a bit delayed, but I'm even extra glad now we got the Aer Lingus. We got, we got delayed last time, so we got the rub of the luck, because last time we were the ones delayed on Virgin, and the Aer Lingus took off on time, so we've switched. But yeah, a bit of a shame if you're on that Virgin. It is delayed. It's not too bad, though. I mean, it's an hour and... 10 minutes or something like that but yeah but just i'm glad that it's not us and that sounds bad for the people on the virgin but i made up that's not us i made up we picked this uh Aer lingus now because flying at two o'clock that doesn't give you much time to get to a park like we do like nutters for everyone else probably wouldn't matter but for us where we like to go crazy and go straight to a theme park yeah this is uh so we are going to start boarding now you can see the business passengers are just getting on now uh, we're bearing in mind as well with Aer Lingus, keep an eye on your booking reservation. Keep going down into your reservation and click uh, upgrade to business class and just keep checking the price because sometimes they do go on sale. You can pick them, sometimes pick up an upgrade to business class for about 250 quid each. So it's worth checking. I kept looking, it was about 1300 quid each, so we've not done it obviously, but it's worth bearing in mind if you keep logging in a few weeks leading up to your um, flight, Sometimes they do sell off those business class seats yeah. pretty cheap. Uh, 250 is not bad, isn't it? To go yeah. from, they don't have a premium in, in Aer Lingus, it's just basically basic. economy or business, and their business seats are quite nice. They're like a mix between first class and premium. They're nice seats, so for 250 quid, they're well worth it. Maybe you'll see them on the way on. Yeah, if, they, if I do, I'll show you them, but yeah, it's worth keeping an eye. Just keep, yeah. keep clicking upgrade and then see what the price says. Yeah. If it comes up for about 250, 300, jump on them because it's worth it, I think. Here we go then, so just after business class was uh, seats 30 to 40 something and we're row 30, so we're basically first on after business class. It uh, does pay off being there ready at the gate. And here we go, onto the jet bridge, it's getting real now, and onto the plane, here we go. Ah, exciting times, you ready Laura? I'm excited for the top of oh, You get that smell of the plane as you walk down here as well. Here we go. Okay, well, we're all set. This are our extra leg room seats. So you have got a little bit of a thing here, but this really once you sit down, you have got yeah, plenty of extra leg room. There you go. Makes a difference. Nice view of the uh, wing as well. That'll be nice for takeoff. Yeah, we've got plenty of room here to stretch our legs out and stuff, haven't we? Makes a nice difference. So the flight itself looks very, very quiet. We may even end up moving up there by the uh, looks of it. But yeah, it's a uh, good extra leg room. Just make sure you don't put your feet on there. We're not allowed to do that. 
has uh, plenty of room, very strict instructions, yeah, very strict. So when we head off, there's six spaces, so you've got extra, excellent room. I mean, I'm, I'm comfy here, I am quite comfy. We'll just see how we get on, see what yeah. the other, it does look like a very, very quiet flight, actually. All right, in about eight and a half hours, uh, we'll be landing. Have you decided we're going to go straight to you? Yeah. It's going to be a tough decision. And, um, options, so many options. Now we've got the annual passes, yeah. We can just go straight to Disney or we can go straight to... Okay, a tough so. one. But we're looking like we're all pretty much on time, so we're pretty pretty on schedule, which is good. Should be there about half, three, four o'clock. And we're going to go ahead and look it, so depends mm. on passport, which way we could get to it. It should be pretty good. I think we'll be landed before the other Virgin flights as well, so we should be pretty good at that. Ah, that yeah. Oh, exciting times, exciting. Interesting to see what the food's going to be like and the entertainment as well on Air Lingus, see what the entertainment's like. I uh, was given a strict warning about filming when I came on, it jumped right on me. Um, it sort of put me on edge straight away, it spotted the camera, it spotted the phone, and I'm like, are you filming me? Are you doing this? You can't do this. It's very, it jumped straight on me, like, um, which yeah, put me on edge a bit when I first got on. But uh, yeah, hopefully. As the flight goes smooth, nice food. Yeah. Just get me to Florida, get me in that heat, get me in those parks. Oh, yeah. I'm a captain this morning, my name is Ronan Donnelly. Join me on the flight deck, Senior First Officer Ryan Young, and uh, Shelly Baxter and the rest of the crew looking after comfort and safety in the cabin. Almost ready to go, unfortunately we're just missing one passenger who has failed to turn up at the gate, so we're just offloading the bag at the minute. Uh, that should be approximately another five minutes, so apologies uh, for any late uh, delays of the uh, stand here at uh, Manchester, but uh, once uh, that bag's fine, we'll be closing up, pushing back our stand here and departing off the uh, Sudley runway this morning. Looking at a flight time in the region of 8 hours and 50 minutes uh, after departure, as I say, on the uh, Sudley runway, reading up towards the Liverpool area, from there crossing air sea towards the north of Dublin, from there up towards the uh, northwest coast of Anne before beginning our oceanic crossing. Weather in Orlando around the time of arrival later on this afternoon, expecting uh, one or two thunderstorms to the north of the city, unfortunately, and expecting high temperatures in the region of uh, 30 degrees.
So just a little update everyone, so apart from last week, and we are now moved into Robo. We've then moved right up in Robo 1, and now we're at Robo 9. So extra leg room seats in Robo 9 were available. We've moved forward, um, it's a little bit quieter, and it also means that we'll be first off the plane, which is big for us. We've not got luggage to wait for, quicker off the plane, quicker at the car rental, quicker at out to there. So that's a big bonus that we will be the first off. The floor is a little bit chilly. Spirit jersey, forgotten, so she have got to buy another one. I thought the <laughs> But no, so we move forward, we didn't just kindly ask, is there any extra leg room seats further forward? And then um, there was, and they've kindly let us sit here, so that was good. And uh, a little bit quieter here, because we're more further away from the engines. And uh, fair stop, so fantastic. All good, all good so far, nice take off, hope you enjoyed the views. So we're entertainment on aboard the Wi-Fi. That was dead quick and easy. I used PayPal, uh, paid for the, the best, the highest package, which was 20 euros, about the same as Virgin. So that's working well. It's working all good. I can do my emails, do my work. So not all good so far. Should be landing in Orlando about quarter past three in the afternoon. Which gives us plenty of time. I still don't know where we're heading to, though. We're leaning towards a Disney park now. We're into a Disney park. We'll see how we get on. to Horror Nights in last September, um, so we're thinking maybe a Disney park, just to mix it up a little bit, we'll do Horror Nights tomorrow night maybe. Yeah. Oh, it's Saturday night, but we've got the frequent fear pass that allows us to go any day. So, so. just one way to be walking around, like, to so, yeah, see, see what happens. Yeah. 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 Suss it all out. Yeah, and I'm going to Horror Nights, if you wait till the same time, you can get fast passes on the Disney Yeah, you can get the fast passes for the last few hours, but I am. I'm seeing a lot of things about Horror Nights this year being just too busy, too full. Um, everyone had a bit of a, a nightmare last night because there have been rainstorms, we the gold got kicked out of the queues, loads of houses closed, but uh, we'll see how we get on, we'll see how we get on. We've got to get there first, so we're meant to be landing into a few rainstorms, so let's to get there first and I think we'll make a decision in the car maybe. So I'm just going to show you the entertainment system, what sort of things they've got on. They've got box office, you've got, oh you've got a Halloween section, can I click the Halloween section? There you go, love. All your Halloween movies. Ah, there you go. I'm looking forward to seeing that, uh, that dance at uh, Horror Nights, the flash dance that they do with uh, Megan. Uh, back to school. Uh, Harry Potter? Oh, that'll get you in the mood then, won't it? Oh, yeah. Look out for the Whomping uh, Willow. <laughs> <laughs> You've also got School of Rock, which you love. Oh, I give it a School of Rock. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm liking this. Yeah. I'm liking this. You've got some old school movies on here. So these are from books. Oh, Harry Potter again. Classic Universal. So Laura's just saying she likes how it's all sectioned off. I like that one as well. Buddies, best buddies. Yeah. If you know, you know. That's, us, yeah. <laughs> That's the name of the bar in Tenerife we just bought. Oh, Laura's getting a nice little cup of tea. Oh, really Guardians of the Galaxy and everything. Loads really to get you in the mood. Avatar. Loads everything. of stuff to get you in the mood for a bit of Florida. Yeah. Okay, here we go then. So Laura's gluten-free meal has arrived. What have we got then, Laura? We've got desserts, which is the melon pieces, which I love that. I like melon. Okay, it's good for flying, bit of fruit. The starters are all done though. It's like a fruit cocktail with salad, is it? It's like a salad. Yeah, I don't I'm not know. I'm not sure I've what that one is. Like it. It's 
And what have we got going on for our mains then? Water and your main meal is. Da -da -da -da. Oh, it's decent. Looks like a chicken curry, is it? Smells nice. Chicken, green beans. That's the Italian tomato sauce. Looks nice, yeah. it does smell good as well. Yeah, ooh, I'm excited. So I'd say that. so far that looks better than what you get on the bed, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, beets are good, really just nice. a good chicken breast that's nice and healthy. I've noticed it's not giving me any scones or anything too stodgy apart from the bread. You've always got a piece of bread though, you need a bread. Yeah. I know that looks good. So Laura's is coming first just because it's an allergy meal. Now, I'm just in the process, I always do this every time, um, and that is to just to go in the settings and change the time. So go to your date and time, and I'm going to change it from London to Miami. So let me just put this in. So that gets me already adjusted into the Florida time zone because when I look at my phone now, 741 instead so I always recommend doing that change the time so you just get get yourself used to uh, the new time and the headspace of uh, being five hours behind where's it like Laura interesting it's not bad it's interesting right. it's weird it's like food with salad What you're watching? A man called Hotel. Right. Now the only thing with these seats is that you have got the separate screen down here, and when you've got your food, it doesn't really work. No. If you've got your table out, the screen struggles. So yeah. something just to bear in mind. But now I'm definitely happy that we're going to be first off the plane. Nice view outside, and it's it's much quieter, a lot less engine noise here as well. So we'll wait for my meal to arrive yeah. now. I believe it's sweet and sour chicken or Cajun beef is the option for me. Yeah, nice. Good to find out. Yeah, they announced it before. Oh. So, we'll see Asian what I don't know whether to go. Cajun beef, oh my god, sweet and sour chicken, I think we'll see. Yeah, I think it's burning. Oh, it's So, here's yours. What did you go for? So, I went for the sweet and sour chicken. Let's have a little look, see. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it does. Smells good as well. That looks amazing. That looks nice. Oh, yeah. Now we've got water. I've got a lemon curd mousse. Dessert. Do you like lemon mousse? Roll. Probably not going to. I don't do cold pasta, but I'll oh, take a little pasta. I would enjoy that. Right. That's a salad, yeah. Yeah, that's a salad. It looks amazing what you're having. Yeah. It's so nice different as well, isn't it? Simple. Easy. Looks nice. It looks really good. I would have liked that. Yeah. Give this a little whirl. Yeah. just got some cups of tea and now I don't know what to go for. Do I go for fingers or cake bars? I might go for the fingers, go better with the tea. Yeah. Snowy <laughs> fingers. Yeah, yeah, see, you've got me there. there go. Oh, look at that with a cup of tea. Lovely. You couldn't ever leave it, aren't I? But I am telling you. I do like that. That's one of my favourite videos to come out this year. Took a journey to imagination, didn't she? Oh, funny. Yeah. <laughs> I am telling you right to join us, been on a little nap, have you? Yeah. Laying across four seats, loving life. How long yeah. did you nap for? Been about 10 15 minutes. 10 or 15 minutes I nap for longer here, we had a good 45 minutes here. Like yeah, I put friends on and I just napped yeah. with friends on. I think, I think we've just, you missed some views of New York out there. I think you could just about see New York. Yeah, I think it was New York that I zoomed in. Yeah, I think you can just as well see it, yeah. No, just been chilling, watching a bit of Friends, having a little nap. So you're very welcome to just stay back there and leave me alone. 
I'm <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, back to annoy me. I was about to say, back to me. Yeah, thanks. Take a seat then. Well, Laura's just got a gluten free snack. What have you got, Laura? They look really good. Hot chips as a snack is a good snack, innit? I know, to me. I'll do you nice that. I've got a clap with a little cup of tea. You've had a nap. You should be an HHM to the shuts at 2 in the morning now. Yeah, they look good. They look a little sack. They look nice. Okay, everyone, so it is now time for a little refresh. I'm going to put my shorts on. I've got some face cream. I've got my razor. I've got toothbrush, toothpaste. I'm just going to have a nice little refresh. Before we land in about an hour's time, I'll be all fresh, nice and cool. It's 31 degrees when we land, so it's going to be hot. And then my face does dry out quite a bit on the plane, so a bit of a uh, moisturiser. So I'm going to freshen up now. say this is a nicer looking snack than those cold sandwiches you get on the Virgin. Yeah. No offence to Virgin but this lovely and hot and proper this looks lovely. No offence to Virgin. Oh, that looks nice really that. Well, oh, this has been good let's give this a try. So? It's going to be one of the nicest pieces of food I've had on a plane. It's a spicy chicken tikka curry in, in a sausage roll. I've never seen it before but I've seen anything like it. It's gorgeous. It smells absolutely amazing. They drink proper chunks of air chicken as well. Yeah, a little bit of a kick to it, lovely. Oh, yes. Yeah. nice, that. I know, we've been well fed. Definitely They're... one of the nicest we've had. Yeah, those chips are amazing. And I had. So I'm made up. It makes a difference in being hot as well. Yeah, it's nice having a hot meal, isn't it? Yeah. That's very fresh, yeah. I'm hovering out until two in the morning. Yeah, I'm yeah. ready to go now as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, then, Laura, it's your turn to go and refresh. You're getting changed as well. You're going to do your teeth. I am going to brush your teeth to get changed into something more appropriate. Okay. So we well, the votes are all in, and it does seem that Horror Nights is winning. So I think we're going to be straight to Horror Nights yeah. by the looks of it. So I'm um, going to go and get changed now, and tonight, Matthew and Perry, I'm going to be a Horror Nights fan. Halloween Horror Nights fan, okay. We'll see you when you come back. Bye bye. Just been saying to the air hostess how much I love the um, pastry. And they just brought me a couple more, so I've got another chicken tikka. But I've also got the potato cheddar spinach and chive that I'm going to try. So the staff on here have been amazing, the air hostess is a lovely. So there you go, I'm going to have one, look, definitely that one, I'll give that one a try as well. well. Even this one, the potato cheddar spinach, is absolutely gorgeous. These are lovely. Really, really good. Ta da! Here she is, ready for HHN then. I like the socks, Laura. You're not very horror nights, are they, with your sloth on? Right, you've got the Strange Things t-shirt on. Show us your earrings then. Oh, nice. Oh, very HHM. Really addict on Instagram. i put the Instagram up on the screen if you fancy some uh, handmade stuff. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah. Very Stranger Things. I like it. So while you've been getting changed, I've been eating more pasties. Do you <laughs> pasties? Best thing I've ever eaten on a plane. Best thing I've ever eaten on a plane, man. Stunning. Yeah. 
they look amazing. Yeah, well, we're all set. See, look. As far as travelling with hand luggage, another plus for travelling with hand luggage, you've got everything in your bag that you need. I know. To, to come off the plane all fresh, changed, ready to go, feel good. Yeah, it makes a big difference. and smart in here isn't it yeah. nice and smart so we haven't got any baggage to collect no. we'll do our passport check and then go to the car rental desk and then i think we go from there you ready yeah, i've just made ready. up the flight was on time actually landed early you know i was worried about storms diversions all kinds going on absolutely spot on air lingus was brilliant i've got to say the staff were absolutely fantastic I was a little bit on edge when I first got on and, the, you know, they, they were quite thingy with the camera, but after that, once they realised I wasn't going to be clowning around, they were really, really nice. Really nice. Got me those extra little pasties and... Me little um, ice cream pots. Yeah, the ice cream pot was nice, wasn't it? Ice cream, amazing. We managed a little nap, bought some stuff. The entertainment was better than Virgin's, I think. Yeah. Yeah, had Definitely. like every had season like, of Friends on exactly there. Like whole season, not just two episodes. Yeah. Yeah. You could just sit and watch Friends. You could watch all the Harry Potters. They just had everything, didn't they? Yeah. It's good. So a few people do mention this walk, but I don't think it's too bad. I did ask the air hostesses about it, and they said it's not bad. It's not bad. You don't have to get the monorail here, which is good. So we miss our buddy Dyer and our first ride of the holiday. Miss our first ride Holiday, yeah, so I do miss a little bit of that nostalgia. Yeah. But I don't think this is quite nice. Nice new terminal. Yeah. It's not a bad walk. It's not a bad walk. It's very spacious as well, isn't it? Very airy, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. And the air con's on, so it's not boiling in here. Swings around about, you've got to walk a bit, but then you don't have to wait around for a monorail thing, so. Exactly. So we'll be travelling back through here as well. It looks nice down there. I'm looking forward to, well, I'm not looking forward to coming home, but I'm looking forward to travelling through a... Uh, different terminal on the way home for a bit of a change so yeah it is a bit of a walk and it is slightly uphill as well so i would say if you do struggle with walking you could maybe ask for assistance one of the wheelchairs uh, it is a bit of an uphill walk we're walking at good pace though to try and beat the crowds aren't we no you don't have to rush so right we don't need to claim any bags we can go, so one, claim your luggage, two, have your ID ready, three, go to US Customs, so. I think so, yeah. Wow, this is lovely, isn't it? Very nice, lovely and spacious. Very nice, right, I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll catch you through the other side, but yeah, we're not gonna wait for any of this luggage. The beauty of traveling with no hand luggage and no uh, suitcases. We've just done security and now through and it's absolutely lovely this other side laura's just popped to the toilet but it's a lovely building lovely and spacious and airy um did ask quite a few questions at the customs sometimes you get it like that sometimes you don't i think because it was a little bit quieter uh, it did give us a bit of a grilling but obviously you've got to, just got to be straight up and honest with them um and yeah just make sure you don't have your phones out or anything they don't like that uh, even if you're not obviously filming or anything just having your phone out in your hand and stuff they can be a little bit 
uh, thingy with that, which is obviously just very, very secure. But no, it's nice through here, I like it. Very nice. So we're gonna head downstairs and pick up the rental car now. So just to give you a little time update, we landed at quarter past three. It's now quarter to four, and uh, we're gonna go straight down to the car. So good time, and so far only 30 minutes to get everything off the plane, unloaded, yeah. through the passport check. So I think it's down now. Let's, yes, let's double check down. rental cars, down. So we're gonna head straight down. You can go in the lift or down the little escalator. This is where, again, having no suitcases to lug around, we just stroll straight down the escalator with our hand luggage and away. There's people there still waiting for the luggage to start coming around. Um, and I think it normally takes about 20 minutes to half an hour for the luggage to start going around. Yeah, so that's from what I've read on some of the groups. So, right, down we go then. Parking and rental cars, down. Uh, the lady on the air hostess did say you go down. Just follow the signs for rental cars. And then we're going to be looking for Alamo, who we always book with. We always go with them. So I think we've got to go down again. By the looks of it. Or is it rental? It says rental cars that way. Ah, okay. So it's all clearly signposted, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it's quite new for us. So I mean, once we've done it once, we'll know exactly where we're going. Exactly. I mean, the other terminal we'll we can do with our eyes closed, yeah. but this one a little bit different. Yeah, following the signs. And it's literally just across the road. Here we go. Is Alamo just there? And nice and quiet as well. Perfect. It's all going very well. We're very, very thankful it's gone so smooth to this point. We're going to jump in the car, hopefully. And then we'll be off to the fog. Oh, I'm not worried about the storm. I've got me poncho, Laura. You made me pack it. Got me poncho. I'm sorted, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're going to be one of those people, those people that wear Disney ponchos in Universal. Here we go, Alamo. Okay, everyone, so we are all done with Alamo. Uh, it did take slightly, it only took about five minutes. There was no queue, uh, but I wasn't on the system anymore because they've got a new system by the sounds of it. Uh, they were still learning it, so that new system had sort of knocked my history off. Uh, so we did have to re-input all of my license and everything all over again. But still only took about five, 10 minutes. And uh, Brie was lovely. They always are with Alamo. So uh, owning a car rental myself, I know what feels right and what feels good and stuff. And she was pretty good. So yeah, we just head straight down now to Alamo, straight down these es escalators, and then jump in our car. We are pretty much job done. We are good to go. Exciting. Next time we're in a car park like this, Laura, it'll be at, uh... wait, I wonder if we're gonna get our usual King Kong space that we always yeah, get. <laughs> so I think we are, are we down again? I think, yep, yeah, down again. Okay, so we've just booked an intermediate SUV and we can pick any of these here. So we've got the Ford Escape, looks quite nice. It's got one in blue and black. I'm not gonna go for the Mazda. I've had a Mazda XC5 before as well. So I see, I do like a Rogue. I do like a Nissan Rogue, silver as well. Doesn't quite get as hot. Yeah. I think it's gonna be the silver Nissan Rogue. Quite happy with that. Yeah, let's just check. Uh, there's no shelf on it, but you've got, there you go. I think you can put it up higher, you see. I think you can put it on the, we'll work it out. But yeah, I think we're gonna go for the Rogue. That's what we're gonna go for, definitely this one. This is nice, silver as well. A Little bit cooler, lighter color. So I'm just gonna do what I always do and I recommend all of you do, and that is just walk around it, just check there's no damages on it. It looks like quite a new car, to be honest. We'll see how many miles are on it, but just have a video record. So if there is any existing damage, You've got it on camera, timestamp, you can show it wasn't you. We yeah, just go all the way around it. Looks nice from South Carolina. So it'll have done a few miles to come down to here. But yeah, perfect, looking good. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is nice. What have we got on the clock here? 3,000 miles, <laughs> nothing. Brand new. Nice car, this. Oh, electric seats as well. well. See, this always also pays off as well, being some of the first through. There'll be other people on that flight that are booked an intermediate SUV. They're not going to have as much choice. You know, we've taken probably the newest car here now and one of the biggest. So, you know, the last, the further off your plane you are, the less choice you've got with your cars as well, I suppose, in some ways. But yeah, made up with this. This is nice. So do me nicely. So we're all in the car, leaving the airport and everything all done. Left, signed everything all done by seven minutes past four you said four o'clock and i went no that's too quick half four. i know i said four and you said no four o'clock 
and that includes you know filling in the stuff of the, the rental desk and everything made up with the car it's absolutely fantastic this so i have just got notification on my phone on the map saying your journey may be disrupted due to severe thunderstorm and we are heading straight into it you can't even see the buildings down there they're not even far away the size of these raindrops are absolutely massive. yeah look at oh 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 see all those flashes so this is why the, the captain was saying you know if we'd have had a bit of a headwind we'd have been coming into this we'd have been landing in it yeah or maybe not landing in it so that's why i was a bit concerned about diversions and things if it gets really really bad the flights end up diverting to miami etc yeah or tampa so I, mean, I think if we were any more delayed, we'd have been landing in this or oh not landing God. in this. Look at it. Yeah, it's about to get quite strong and it uh, must be all over Universal, which is where we're headed. <laughs> We've got our ponchos. We've got oh, a dryer yeah. in, the, in the villa. Yeah, that is quite a bad rainstorm. Ooh. Look at that. Nice. So we didn't record for a couple of minutes because we dropped through a really, really bad rainstorm. It was bad. That was very bad, yeah. You just have to concentrate, just take your time, put your lights on, go nice and steady. But yeah, if the plane was going to be landing in that, it would have been diverted. That was really bad, that was. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Laura. There's the Horror Night sign there, <gasps> look, with Vecna oh, on it. Oh, look. Oh, he's coming. Oh, my God. Uh, so excited. Oh, yeah. So we're through the big storm now. Through the big storms, brightening up a little bit towards Universal where we're headed. Yeah. Still doing good for time. Still only 23 minutes past four, so. It's amazing. Very good time. Very yeah. good time there. I made up. Been a very good travel day. I hope you've all enjoyed it so far. If you have, make sure you do subscribe. It's completely free. Make sure you give a thumbs up down below as well underneath the video, the little thumbs up button. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to be carrying on now. We're getting to Universal. Might have a little bite to eat, do a bit of Horror Nights, get a bit of fog. Uh, just have a little bit of fun, we'll yeah, see what happens. Excited. Well, I've not missed the old I-4 traffic, but thankfully, as you can see, a lot sunnier here towards Universal, nice and yeah, blue skies. Lovely. Let's hope that storm stays away. Um, so we're heading in now, it's coming up to 20 to 5. Probably a good time to start heading in, really. The gates to Horror Nights open about 6 p.m. Then they start letting people through the houses about half six. So good time to be heading in bear in mind if you're coming to horror nights whether it's next year whenever the parking coming into the park around this time does get very busy there's normally long queues to park for horror nights yeah um i would also avoid doing valet during horror nights because everyone leaves the park at the same time and you will wait a while to get your car back we've made that mistake a few times yeah. it's included in, in the rip tour tickets uh, but that we we did a couple of those a few years ago, and uh, we used the valet which was included, and we regretted it because we waited oh, an hour, an hour and a half yeah. just for the guy to bring the car round. So I'd avoid that during horror nights as well. But so far, so good. I'm I'm really really pleased, really pleased. Great to be back. I don't I don't really mind the I4 traffic. It is what it is. When you're on holiday, traffic doesn't matter really. I does know, it? no, it's all right. Yeah. So you've got Volcano Bay there. And, oh my God, I can't believe I'm back. And again, those universal feels. But there's one very important thing that's going to be coming up very shortly. I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm going to say, but you know, there's something missing around my neck, isn't there? Really, it's been missing for a while. It's a form of credential. Oh my God. And. Um, if you know what UOAP means, then you'll know what oh I'm talking about. God. If you don't know what a UOAP is, you best get Google in the next few minutes <laughs> because you're about to find oh out. Oh my God. Here we are then, so just to show you the price of the parking, $30 still, and at Horror Nights tonight, 6.30 till 2 a.m., baby. Oh, 2 a.m., that's 7 o'clock in our bodies in the morning, don't, the following day. Don't, don't, let's um, do it, let's just be in here till 2 in the morning. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh <laughs> Imagine if you did do that. Oh, I think we'll hit 9 o'clock, we'll hit the brick wall. Yeah. So, UOAP stands for Universal Orlando Annual Pass. Uh, now this is a preferred pass as well this one 
So that actually gets us free parking. So we're not going to be paying $30. It's going to be uh, free. So yeah, there you go. UOOP, you learn something every day, don't you? Oh my God. If you're not an annual pass holder, you're not an annual pass holder, are no, you? No, you're not. That feels good to be using it again now. I know. It's good Made to have up, it back. I see them in the cupboard up. all the time, just going to waste. It's nice to be uh, using we'll, it again. And we should be here using them every single day, shouldn't we? Yeah. yeah. The annual pass thing is just an ongoing joke with us yeah. now. Oh yeah. You're going to the right. Thank you. It's like an ongoing joke thing that we've got with the annual pass. But uh, yeah, we're very lucky to have them. And uh, the, we've definitely got our money's worth. We know how we're doing it and saves a lot with the parking and everything. But yeah, it's a bit of an ongoing joke, the uh, annual pass holder thing, you know. Right then, everyone, it is certainly good to be back. We're parked in Cat in the Hat. Uh, four, six, 460. Oh, I'm loving it. Great to be back, feel that Florida warm. Heading on in. So we could actually even do stay and scream. So we don't know what to do really. We're in a bit of limbo. We don't know whether to go in and do a bit of stay and scream, try and get a house done, or whether to just wander through scare zones. It's, it's gonna be one of them, isn't it? What you go for, what you do. Either way, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Great to be back. Get me on that moving walkway. The moving walkway exit is approaching and all that. What are you doing there? I feel complete now. I feel complete. <laughs> I feel good. Be you ready, you know, yeah? The lanyard was, was the final the of the travel day. <laughs> Getting in. Oh, there it is, Velocity Coaster. Can't wait to get on that as well. Horror Nights takes some of the glory, but. Velocity Coaster's another one. Love that ride. Okay, so through security, there's our first little Horror Night sign. There it is. Now, the wait for Stranger Things and stuff is always absolutely crazy. So we think we think it may be Stay and Scream more towards the far end of the park, some of those other houses. So yeah, I think that'll be worth trying. I think that's a bit of a quieter Stay and Scream. Everyone does the stay and scream for Stranger Things. I believe it gets full as well. Stay and scream for Stranger Things. Well, Stranger Things historically has always been one of the best houses because remember that when it was the first house, people were not expecting it and they were all like, oh my God, that's the most amazing thing ever. And then by the time they've done the second house, the buzz is just insane. Yeah. And now the best is going to be Please, more. Please, watch yeah. your step. Yeah. So we'll get it done, but it's definitely not going to be tonight, I don't think. I think we'll head towards the back of the park. Maybe do try and do one or two houses that end, or we'll just do the scare zones, or even just a couple of rides. Just great to be back. Just gonna have a quick look at the merch on our way in. It's now five o'clock. Gonna be uh, slowly heading. Just want to check out some of this Horror Nights merch. It's very, very busy though. That's a nice bag, Laura. That's nice. It's a good one. Is a good one. Some really, really good merchandise this year. Really good stuff. That's good as well, isn't it? There's a lot of really nice stuff. Ooh, is this a candle? Is this the candle? Yeah, see what that smells like, Laura. I don't know if that's any good. Oh, yeah, nice. I like that. I like that. I liked all the See You in the Fog merch, but a lot of that is all gone now. All sold out. Dying up the t-shirts. I do like this one here. Quite like that with quite a few of them on. Last of Us, Stranger Things, Chucky, etc. But then they've also got just the straight up Vecna t-shirt here, which I quite like as well. Full on Stranger Things. I like that. Oh, it's just so good to be in the mix. Good to be in the mix. Yeah. Oh, walking in, we've got the E.T. music on as well. It gives you real good feels. It really does. So we're going to head in on our annual passes and then probably do stay and scream. Uh, so we have actually purchased the um, the unlimited stay and scream. Uh, st not stay and scream. It, um, what do they call it? I don't know. Frequent fear pass. Frequent fear pass. So we've got a frequent fear pass. So we can come in anytime, come and go anytime we like, really. Uh, if we want to come in for a couple of hours one night, we can do. Yeah. We can just pop in and out. But yeah, it's certainly good to be back. So we'll pop in, see what happens. 
Okay, here we are then. So we did miss Stay and Scream. It got to 10 past five and you've got to be in the park by five. So we missed that. But we're here in the queue nice and early because we will get to see the starting ceremony, which will be nice. So just be on here. We'll get to see all the, the atmosphere and the main gates opening yeah, as we head so in. This far end of this line was actually the lowest. Yeah. So from this far end, so we don't get as good of a view of the. Don't get as good of a view of the opening ceremony, but we should be in quite quickly, and we're going to head straight to Stranger Things. I think is the plan. Uh, very very busy event this year. All of the RIP tours are sold out. It's uh, all a bit crazy, but we'll try and get one of the houses done tonight, eh? Straight to Stranger Things. Might have to wait a little bit, but you know, it'll be a box ticked. What the lovely lady did say, we had a good chat with the with the staff member and she was saying that she came last night with her friends off duty and uh, she managed to do Stranger Things with a 10 minute wait at 1am. So right at the end of the night, it's up until 2 tonight, I bet if you join the queue about 1am, half 1 tonight, Stranger Things will be a quick queue. I don't think we can last till that late. No, no, we couldn't do it tonight, but for other people or, you know, for future reference, if we're open till 2am, the houses will start quieting off as people get tired and head home. It's all a nice beginning! Right, so we don't know whether we're going to head to Stranger Things because... <laughs> oh, it's good to be back. Oh, smell that. Lovely. Stranger Things, very long wait already, so we might go for the Yeti house instead. Oh, it's good to be back. <laughs> so we're making our way to the Yatti house but even just walking through it's great to see all this open since we were last here Laura all of this finished off looks fantastic really does look good we'll be taking a closer look at that when we come in the daytime doing the new minions experience and everything oh yeah the Yatti house we've got the exorcist as well the Yatti house is down at the end I think that's the one I'd like to do exorcist 15 the Stranger Things was already up to 75, which is uh, quite long for our first, you know, little couple of hours in Horror Nights. Don't really want to be stood around after doing that flight and that journey today. No. But I do like, I've done the Yeti house years ago and we loved it, didn't we? It was brilliant. That was your favourite house. Yeah, it was my favourite. So I'm hoping this one's going to be quite similar. So oh, then from Manchester Airport to Yeti Campground Kills. <laughs> what a travel day. I just love the atmosphere in here, it's just brilliant. Everyone's buzzing, the, the smoke, the fog. Can't wait to go through some of the scare zones as well, just wander through. But this is a bit of a baptism of fire, this Laura. We've only just come off a plane and we're going through a Horror Nights house. A bit of a baptism of fire, but this is meant to be really good, this one. Uh, this, you think this could well be my favourite of the year? Yeah, I think it could very well. Although we've not done any, I just love the theming with like snow and yeah, it's so different. Yetis and yeah, it's just my sort of theme. Yeah. It's gonna mess me up this though, you know. Going through this now, I'm psyched myself up enough. Oh <laughs> well, look, here's some of the characters coming out for that scare zone. Wow. <laughs> I love the music. Can you hear it? All that 80s music. Well, that house was absolutely awesome. I loved that. It was loads of good scares, really good rooms, really all like very um, windy. Next corner, you didn't know what was coming next. You were out in the forest and inside, really good that. Definitely want to do that one again. But this scares zone, I really want to go for. I love the music. Yeah, I'm going to be careful with the music with the copyright, but yeah, we're going to have a wander through. The atmosphere on here, I love 80s, so this is right up my street. Uh, it was a bit more like a 35 minute wait, that is correct. Uh, 25, not so much, it was a little bit longer. These props are awesome, look at that. Brilliant. Love it. Hey! <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Brilliant. Love it in here. Here's another one, there's so many of them, and they blend in as well with the clothing. They blend yeah, in a bit, won't they? So after going through one house, we're full of exhilaration now and we are going to go and try and do another one. Dr. Badfellow's only 10 minute wait. Yeah. So we'll see how we get on. Now, we're, now I'm in the mood. I'm awake now. We've got a few more scare zones to wander through as well. Yeah. Unfortunately, you cannot film inside the houses. We'd love to do that, but uh, we can't, unfortunately. But you can film in all the scare zones. You can get good pictures and stuff as well. See what this one's all about coming up. 
There's my bus over there now, new for Horror Nights as well this year, or coming back for Horror Nights this year, with all the Death Eaters yeah, we'll in to Harry Potter. That, yeah. yeah, so we'll have to have a little look in there at some point. See if we can get in through Dr. Oddfellows before the, the heavens seem to like they're going to be opening soon. Unfortunately, some of these scare actors that we're heading in as we were going past through that scare zone, yeah. heading in to escape the rain. Oh, it's just so good to be back, isn't it? Just getting a feel for things and brilliant. We could even see what time the show's on. The show is absolutely fantastic. It was amazing last year, and it's the same people doing it this year, but a different show. Oh, it it's meant to be really good again this year, by the looks of it. Yeah. Let's have a little idea of wait times then. 95 minutes for Last of Us. See Oddfellows, 10 minutes. We can get through that for sure. Uh, let's wait for it to change for the next thing. There we go. We've got some of the rides are open as well, don't forget. Rocket, 15 minutes for Gringotts. I like Gringotts. We do Gringotts as well, Laura. So many options, haven't we? Okay, Exorcist, Stranger Things, 90 minutes. Right, let's go and try and do Dr. Oddfellows, and then we'll see about maybe doing a couple of rides or something. Dr. Oddfellows have jumped up, so we're going to do The Darkest Deal. Let's see what this one is like. So this one is all about. 25 minutes. Oh, here we go. Hey, this way, I think. Stand by. Stand by, Laura. Stand by. <laughs> it was again another really good one, quite scary as well. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, really enjoyed that one. That was nice, that. So, the plan now is just to grab a little drink, refresh, and go and maybe catch the 8 o'clock show. It's half seven now. Yeah. Uh, the lines are, they have been, the two we've done have been longer than they've been advertised, but two good houses, though. That was good, that. I enjoyed it. Just some good scares in there. I need to go Seems to be again. a lot more jump scares than they used well, to be. They've made them really like windy rather than like going through like yeah. it's like really tight so you can't yeah. see what's going on. Some so. really good detail as well. Yeah. It's another really good house now. Yeah. So we've done two really good ones. Hopefully we'll get a drink, catch the show. I'd love a proper icy. Love an icy and then we'll go and catch the show. So just working out what flavour icy to go for. I think I'm going to go for wild cherry and blue raspberry mix. I've just seen someone get a Coke one with wild cherry and which looked pretty good. But I think I'm going to stick to what I know, stick to what I like, I think. What are you getting? Icy float. Icy float, you're getting alcohol in it? You're getting bevied, are you? Yeah. There we go, got my nice mixed icy. Laura's got her icy float, which she said is really strong. It's just basically warm. Like it's just basically warm. Right, so we've got 15 minutes to the show. Let's try and see if we can get a last minute seat. Relax with our drinks. So it's getting nice now, it's going dark. Look at that. Really does uh, get going once it goes dark. People get in the mood, yeah. It's... Love all the lighting. Well, the show was brilliant again, same as last year. It was great last year. They've changed it this year, really, really good. It's definitely worth watching. So good, so much fire and I mean, skill and all kinds. How do people get into this fire for tons? Because do they go to majorettes and do little tons? Yes, and then one day they very go, special skills. Like yeah. on these tons on fire, see how you do. It's just baffles me how they get into it. It's amazing. It's very special skill. Yeah. Uh, really, really good. Just as good as last year. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Uh, we're going to head through some of the scare zones towards the exit now, I think, because we are getting quite tired. Coming up to nine o'clock, getting pretty tired now. So we'll uh, head towards the exit, but through some of the other scare zones though along the way. Yeah. Might grab a little little bag sweet somewhere as well at some point. One more ride before we leave, one more house I should say, and that's Blood Moon Dark Offerings. This is our last little thing of the day. Well, what a first night that was, absolutely amazing. We did three houses in the end. We rode the mummy and we also did uh, the show. We did meet up with uh, Incredible Wilsons and Phil and we had a little bit of a chat and stuff. So did a couple of bits with them. It's very hard to vlog because you're not allowed to film in the houses and things like that, but great event, very, very busy, very busy, but we still did three houses and a show and mummy, 
and it's still only 10 o'clock the event's on for another four hours so i mean it is doable really but it's a lot of standing in lines and the lines are quite long and monotonous there's not much entertainment going on in them but i thought that was a really good uh, really good travel day i hope if you have enjoyed it make sure you give a thumbs up we are going to be heading home now well home i say and we've got a nice villa that we're going to be checking into somewhere we've never stayed before so that full tour will be coming up on the channel so yeah we're going to head back to the car and then start making our way home we are it's really starting to flag now it's currently 3 a.m in our bodies isn't it oh my God. have you been up since 5 a.m been up since 5 yeah That's so 23 hours nearly nearly, nearly done a full hours. nearly done a full 24 hours by the time we get to sleep but uh, it was worth it that was a really good day really enjoyed that Well everyone, we've just checked in to our gorgeous villa and accommodation. Can't wait to show you this one. It's going to be coming up on the channel as I've mentioned. Really, really nice in here. Nice different area as well to show you. I uh, hope you did enjoy that big epic travel day. Um, I know Horror Nights isn't for everyone. It is, you know, adult themed, scary, etc. But uh, that is what won the vote and we were made up to be back. But fear not if you're into Disney, all of that the other Universal Parks in the daytime, that will all be coming up on the channel. Uh, starting off tomorrow as well, we'll be straight off to celebration for our Starbucks coffee as our uh, first day tradition will continue. Uh, we've currently done, it's now 11 p.m. So we've done 22 hours on the go, 22 hours since we got up. So pretty long day, uh, really have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, do make sure you give a thumbs up let me know down in the comments your uh, favourite part of the travel day and what you love about travel day. What's your key highlight moment of a travel day? And also make sure you subscribe. It's completely free. Loads of Florida content coming up. And if you're new to the channel, there's already about four series already on the channel of our previous Florida trips. So do check those out. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow and uh, stride on.